Dateline, King City, a city devoted to the glory of God, but in her dark underbelly, there are villains gathering, evil men who seek to steal God's glory. Will King City find her hero? Can she be saved and restored to her former glory? For the answer to these questions and more, tune in every week to The King City Chronicles. Hey kids, Scripture Guy here. Listen to this story I found in today's King City Herald. The King City Science Club has announced its plans to build up King City. Their president, Professor Glockenspiel, said that we are hoping to make King City the wisest, godliest city in the world. Ah, I just love that. King City, I'm so proud of her. Why, she's a city with a great heart that God is building up. <laughs> scripture guy! Oh, scripture guy, quick! Quick, turn on the news! All right, I'll tune in the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, okay. and citizens of King City. That's us. We, the distinguished members of the King City Science Club, are proud to introduce our plan to raise the IQ of every person in King City. Wow. Allow us to present... The Wisdom Cube! Oh, bravo! Uh, thank you, Professor Glockenhockenspiel. Oh, I'll no. take that. Oh, no! It's the obliterator! Hey, you put that down. Yeah, don't touch that button. Oh, mm -hmm. do you mean this button? I'm pretty sure The reverse wisdom button. Especially not that one. Oh, too late. Oh, Let's no. see how you wise guys are now, science guys. Oh, no, he turned them into toddlers. Oh, what cute little babies. You'll uh, never get away with this, obliterator. I can't hear you. I'm on television. Oh, I forgot. And now I will use this reverse wisdom cube to turn everyone in King City into slobbery numbskulls. Oh, no. Ta-ta, King City. No! Team team has to do something. Come on, let's go! Wait! We need a plan. We must use wisdom to fight wisdom. You're right. Should I get out the good news? That is a wise choice, Crusader. All right, we'll get the good news right now. Good. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Yeah, come on. Scripture guy. Oh, there it is. Hey, scripture guy. Sounds different today. All right, here you go, scripture guy. I don't know where to turn. Oh, well, Solomon was known for his wisdom. Why don't we look up the story where Solomon was visited by the Queen of Sheba? Huh, well, well who was the Queen of Sheba? Oh, she was the ruler of a faraway land who had heard about King Solomon's wisdom. Huh. She came with her entire caravan to ask Solomon hard questions. Huh, so people from other countries had heard of King Solomon's wisdom? Oh yes. God had given him so much wisdom that he had become a legend known far and wide. <sighs> wow. And did the queen have all of her qu questions answered? All of them and more. The Bible says that she was overwhelmed with all she saw and heard and it made her want to praise our God. Whoa, wait a minute. You mean that she didn't serve God before, but seeing Solomon's wisdom made her want to praise God? Yes. Listen to what she said. Praise be to the Lord your God, who has placed you, delighted in you, and placed you on the throne of Israel. Because of the Lord's eternal love for Israel, he has made you king to maintain justice and righteousness. Wow. <laughs> God's gift of wisdom made her want to serve God. Oh, and not only that, but she also gave King Solomon large amounts of gold and wow. precious stones and lumber so that he could use those in making Jerusalem an even more beautiful city. So... Wisdom helped build up God's city. Mm. Maybe wisdom can help us defeat the obliterator and build up King City. Yes, we must find the wisest person we know. Huh. Hmm, who do we know? Who is wise? Ooh! Ah, ah. No, 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 never mind. No. Mm. I know! Who? No, 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 no. Oh, okay, okay. you're right. Um, I've got it! Mm. No, I'm wrong. What about... 
Professor Glockenspiel. Yes! Oh, wait, no, the obliterator just turned him to a four-year-old. I think he's sucking his thumb right now. Oh, yes, that's not going to work. Hmm. Who do we know that's wise? Hmm. Well, back in Godly Acres, Uncle Phil was known for his wise advice. He was the wisest guy in town. Uncle Phil? You mean the Philistine? Yeah. I thought he was Casey Carter's uncle. Oh, well, uh, he is. I just mean that Casey told me that, uh, that Uncle Phil, before he became a bad guy, he was known for his wise advice. He was praised for his wisdom. I just never thought the day would come that we would have to turn to the Philistine for advice. We have to make the wisest choice for King City. You're right. Where do we find Uncle Phil? What? I mean, the Philistine. Yeah, you're right. Uh, well, I know where he lives. I mean, yeah. I'll, ask, I'll ask Casey where he lives. Okay, go make that call, and I will try to find him on the view screen. All right. Oh, no. Can it be so? Will the obliterator steal all of King City's wisdom? Will the Redeem team be able to find the Philistine? Will he help them overcome the obliterator? Will God give them the wisdom to save our city? For the answer to all of these questions and more, tune in next week to King City Chronicles. All right. Did you hear that? Hear what? That voice. It was talking about us. A but, voice? Yeah, it was saying all the things that we're going to do next week. It, it, n never mind. <laughs> well, anyway, I've got the address. Oh, good. You, excellent. You lead the way. Yes. Kids, let's all say our motto together. We, we give, give everything to honor our king. Wait, where are you going? Oh, I forgot. It's easier to cut through the gas station. Okay, this way.